Good morning. Delta sent the Association of Flight Attendants a letter last week demanding their comments stop on social media about the airline's sick policy. Delta was at the forefront of pushing the CDC to reduce the quarantine time to five days instead of 10. Meanwhile, United Airlines says there have been no COVID deaths among vaccinated employees in the past eight weeks. However, about 3,000 have tested positive for the Omicron variant as it continues to disrupt the airline industry. Well, Bank of America is cutting overdraft fees. The bank announced plans to reduce overdraft fees to $10 from $35. Many feel overdraft fees make it harder for those who are financially struggling to work their way out of that situation. Well, stocks cut losses, staging a fairly broad rally led by tech and energy names. All the markets were higher, with the Dow gaining 183 points. Well, in 2021, there were 20 separate billion-dollar weather disasters. That's according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Hurricane Ida was the most expensive at $75 billion. Other expensive weather events were the Texas freeze in February and the Kentucky tornado. Well, public relations firm Bospar says news of the Omicron outbreak didn't have a dramatic effect on Americans' decisions to get vaccinated or get the booster, but it did cause the majority to change or cancel their holiday plans. However, confusion reigns among Americans as to what to expect going forward. 35% say they're unsure if COVID is here to stay. Nearly 35% expect it will be here forever. And close to a third believe nothing lasts forever, even COVID. From New York, I'm Jane King with your Morning Business Report.